All right, so just how clutch is Patrick Mahomes? That's the question. Some stats have you know circulated Twitter, but stats can sometimes be misleading. I, I wanted to do my own video uh, figuring out just how often does he succeed in clutch situations. I will be looking at each opportunity he had to be clutch and evaluating whether he was perfect, he was good enough, or he was not good. So those three possible outcomes. So, you know, again, perfect. If you need a touchdown, you score a touchdown. Good enough. If you need a field goal to tie, touchdown to win, you get a field goal, something like that. Or not good would be if you throw an interception on the first play, right? There's 12 of the situations that uh, Mahomes has been in over the course of his career already in the postseason. Let's just get into them. Situation one, I'm going to pause each of them, set up the situation, and then talk about what he did. Uh, you know, I was on defense if this counts as a clutch situation or not, because I'm really kind of thinking more like two-minute drill type stuff, but I think I'm going to, uh, I think it's fair to include this. The situation, the Chiefs were down uh, 10 points with seven minutes left in the Super Bowl. It's a third down and 15. It's definitely a comeback situation. And, and, you know, is it this drive? Is it next drive? Again, this one kind of a gray area as if it should count. But of course, Mahomes did lead two touchdown drives in these final handful of minutes to take the lead against the San Francisco 49ers. If we are considering it a situation, it is definitely a perfect situation for the Chiefs. So that's one uh, point in the perfect category. Then that Buffalo game that's gotten talked about a ton, there's actually a few situations in this game. So first, it was this situation. Under two minutes left, left. it's actually a third down right now uh, at the 25-yard line, and the Chiefs are down three points. They need to score to you know, uh, have a chance uh, against Buffalo. But Mahomes on this play is going to first find Travis Kelsey. They pick up a first down. Later, he would find Tyreek Hill, who did a lot of great stuff in open space and got the touchdown that way. Again, it's not all going to be Patrick Mahomes, right? He has talented teammates. The talented teammates are going to come through. That being said, this is still another perfect situation. They needed at least a field goal. They get a touchdown. I'm putting it in the perfect category. However, of course, we would know that the Bills would then, you know, Allen would have his own clutch situation. He goes down the field and scores a touchdown of his own to give the Bills the lead. And that would lead us to this one, which is a more well-known uh, you know, clutch situation, the 13 seconds uh, spot, where 13 seconds at their own 25-yard line, three timeouts though, but they need a field goal. Of course, on this play, Mahomes would just you know throw underneath to Tyree Kill on the first one, who picks up an explosive. Later on, he would throw to Travis Kelsey, who would pick up another explosive. They would kick the game-tying field goal. That's another perfect situation. Again, yes, in theory, you could have scored a touchdown, but like 13 seconds left is not enough time to score a touchdown. That's per perfect, given like reasonably what you could expect from someone like that. So, okay, so far, three for three on perfect situations, and... That was not the only clutch moment that he had in that game, because we all remember the overtime rules, right? Well, so the Chiefs got the ball first in overtime. They would go on to win the game in overtime. Mahomes would hit Travis Kelsey they, you know, on the opening drive, take it down the field. This is another perfect situation. So as of right now, four for four with Patrick Mahomes on these situations. So great, great start. Uh, is it going to end that way? Well, no. Next up was the following week against Cincinnati, where if you remember, Chiefs got off to a red-hot start. Everyone's like, Chiefs are unbeatable, they're going to win the Super Bowl, all that stuff. But then the Bengals came roaring back. So the Chiefs down three points now with five and a half minutes left. Mahomes on this drive would get the ball down the field for sure. You know, that play worked out. But on this third down and goal situation with 30 seconds left, he ends up actually fumbling the football. The uh, Chiefs did recover, so it wasn't a disaster. They kicked the field goal to tie the game. But I can't say this was a perfect situation. This was a good enough situation, in my opinion. They, you know, got the field goal. They forced overtime, but they had a chance to win it and weren't able to do so, along with Mahomes fumbling the football ball at that spot. I can't say that was a perfect situation. And then his next clutch situation is going to be, you know, they won the coin toss. And, you know, everyone talks about the Bills uh, game being the reason why they decided to change the overtime rules. In my opinion, this game was actually the reason they changed the overtime rules. Not because of what would happen in overtime, but because when the Chiefs won the coin toss, the crowd went absolutely wild. It was like the loudest cheer of the entire game. And I think then uh, people, you know, NFL people said, okay, maybe we should do something about this if the loudest cheer is coming from a coin toss. So anyway, uh, this play was not a great play. 
Patrick Mahomes is going to fire the ball down the field on a third down. And, you know, again, it, it was, I mean, it looks like a drop live. It wasn't actually. The safety knocked the ball, uh, so it ends up getting intercepted that way. A bit fluky is fair to say, but even if that wasn't a interception, it was third down, was going to be incomplete either way. This is the first not good that Patrick Mahomes has received. So again, to reiterate, halfway through the list now, uh, you know, six total situations. He was perfect in four of them, good enough in one of them, and not good in one of them. That brings us to here, once again against the Bengals, the following year uh, where they would have 30 seconds left. They had a long punt return, so they're currently at the you know their own 47-yard line. So not the highest degree of difficulty spot, but you still only have 30 seconds. So that's the issue, and just one timeout. On this play, though, watch Mahomes doesn't love what he sees down the field and is going to, in my opinion, make a poor decision. You see him right now flip that ball to his halfback on this play, which I, I don't know if that's the right call necessarily. Watch as Mahomes does, you know, flip it there. But I mean, you got to get out of bounds. But even if you do get out of bounds, you're not gaining any yards on that play uh, because they weren't able to gain much. They were in a tough situation with, you know, they had to call their last time out. So that was certainly not worth it, in my opinion. That brings us to here, where the Chiefs gained six yards, but, you know, again, had to work the sideline a little bit, don't have a lot of time. You see Mahomes, he's going to try and scramble and see if he can pick up the first down that way and just, you know, keep the, you know, move the sticks, but also potentially just maybe even get enough yards to get the field goal here and watch what happens. This was the sort of famous or infamous play where Mahomes, he got hit out of bounds. It was totally, he was hit out of bounds. It's a, you know, 15-yard penalty, and that kind of gave them enough yards where, you know, he was out of bounds at the 40. We're talking a 57-yard field goal if he doesn't get hit out of bounds. So how do we rule this? On one hand, like, they did kick the game-winning field goal. On the other hand, it's, like, definitely got some help by a penalty that, uh, you know, Mahomes really had no control over. I think I'm going to put this into good enough tier. You could honestly argue all three tiers if you wanted. You could say, perfect, hey, they needed a field goal and they got a field goal. Hard to argue with that. You could say, uh, not good, because they it would have been, like, a super long field goal, which Bucker could have made, but, you know, uh, still... You know, it is in the elements, not in the dome, like, you know, the kicks that in the most recent Super Bowl he hit were in. But that still would have been a tough kick. Also, you could say it's perfect because, hey, they needed a field goal. They got a field goal. They won the game and went to the Super Bowl. So how can you uh, how can you really uh, argue with it? Fair enough. But for me, I think I think good enough feels fair. That's where I'm going to put it. But definitely people will disagree with that uh, grading uh, situation. Next clutch moment here. So uh, again, we're currently at four perfects, two good enoughs, and one not good. This is going to be, you know, four and a half minutes left against the Philadelphia Eagles in a tie game in the Super Bowl. The Eagles just went down the field and tied the game with an eight-point touchdown. However, Mahomes would do a lot of good stuff on this drive. You know, this run was a very good one to pick up a good amount of yards. Of course, there was the holding penalty, which is going to always get talked about in this situation where if you know, the holding penalty didn't happen, the Eagles would have had another chance. But still, you know, holding penalty happened. And if the holding penalty didn't happen, would that have been a catch? We will never know. The you know uh, Chiefs do go on to win the game. So this is going to be another perfect situation for me. That's how I'm viewing it. Finally, heading over to the Super Bowl. Also, I guess I did my, I, I counted wrong at some point. I said 12 situations earlier. It's actually just 10 situations. But still, uh, in the Super Bowl, there were a couple. Uh, this one, uh, you know, Chiefs are down three, but you got two minutes left and two timeouts. Uh, let's see what they can do. We all remember it. It just happened. Mahomes and the Chiefs, they were going to be able to get the ball down the field. They were able to get the ball, you know, all the way inside the 10-yard line. In fact, they had to settle for a field goal, though. So, again... Uh, what do we call this? Do we call this perfect? I don't think we can. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't a touchdown, but it certainly was good enough. I'm still going to say, uh, that, you know, that's what I'm going to give it credit for. So that's, uh, you know, a third point to good enough, five points perfect, and just one for not good. And then, of course, finally, the overtime one just this past uh, Super Bowl, which was uh, you know, a perfect uh, situation, of course, uh, gets the drive uh, down three points in overtime, marches down the field, gets seven on the board. So good stuff there by Patrick Mahomes. Uh, but that's actually not the last one uh, I need to talk about. I screwed up and forgot to talk about the very first clutch moment he had. It was this situation where the Kansas City Chiefs uh, have 32 seconds left and they're down three points. The Patriots just took the lead late in the fourth quarter, but the game is not over just yet. Patrick Mahomes has a chance to try and force overtime. 
And that's going to be exactly what he ended up doing. He was able to get the ball down the field. They scored the field goal to tie the game. Of course, uh, the Patriots got the ball first and uh, won in overtime. But still, Mahomes did everything he could do. It's another perfect situation. So in the 11 total situations that he has been in, uh, he was perfect in seven of them and still good enough in the other th- in three of the other four. So only one not good situation. That interception against the Bengals, the only one you look at and say, yeah, uh, that was uh, a little tough. So what's the way to beat Mahomes in the playoffs? It kind of feels like the main way to do it is to either win the coin toss, which now you can't even have that opportunity because, of course, the, uh, you know, New rules prevent that, and then I guess Tampa Bay uh, blowing them out. Maybe that's the rule. I think that's the mindset you have to have. Be up two scores and, you know, never let it. Mahomes have the ball only uh, down a score because you might be in trouble. That's what I think of all this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.